So big win for you tonight. But I think it was the first round. You got caught in that nasty leg lock there. And you're talking in your conference there, you're never going to tap out. But he had you in there really tight. Um, it, it was. It looked a lot more tight than it was. Um, you know, this is a game of inches, and I had about two inches of space, and I knew that was my way out. And I've had opponents myself who were bloody, and it, it's really hard to finish a submission with blood, the slippage of a blood. Yeah. And I, with those two inches and me being slippery and me being stronger than I'm a, my opponent, I yeah. knew I was going to be able to come out of it. Now you mentioned being slippery there. He caught you with a similar move in the second round. Was there part of you was kind of like, man, how did he catch me again? Or you just kind of shrug it off and just fight through it? Um, it was just kind of fight through it. I knew it was going to be a, a war, you know. I mean, it's the semifinals of a tournament that leads our career. It's the next steps in our career, the most important fights of our career. I knew he wasn't going to give it to me. So, I mean, since the beginning of the first round, he caught me with that knee. My nose started just dripping. I had to yeah. keep my composure. And it's like, no, I'm still grinding. I'm still pushing. I'm, I'm still going to beat you if you don't. Do finish it again it. if you don't finish it, and I'm coming at you. And that's what I did, and I ended up victorious. Now, in 2010, you fought in the finals for a different weight class. What can you take from that experience and apply it to fighting the finals this time? Um, can you apply anything? It's a whole different weight class, right? Yeah, it's fighter. a whole different weight class, a whole different um, style and structure. And um, from the finals, that's when I was first diagnosed with leukemia. So. Yeah. And then this time around, I'm lighter, I'm the bigger guy, and I'm able to put more work in, and um, I believe I could be more dominant at this weight class, and I believe that's why it came about. And I mean, I'm right where I'm supposed to be, and I'm going to take it one step at a time. Now, your faith has helped you as a fighter, as, as a husband, as, as a father, like kind of a father to be, I guess. Talk about your faith and how it gives you strength as a fighter and just dealing with leukemia and you've, all you've gone through. I mean, my faith in the Lord is all I have. It's yeah. there's so much trouble that comes. It's, it's known every family, every every situation. Someone knows someone who has some kind of trouble until it comes and you have the trouble. You know, yeah. so the faith on having a Savior who lets you know that you're gonna press through this trouble and you're gonna come out and you're gonna be victorious in his name. That I mean, how can you not walk in victory after that? He's already done it for us and you know, everything we go through, the good, bad, you know, the easy, the, the hard, whatever it is, I walk every day in victory. You know, and that's where my enjoyment is um, for my wife to uh, becoming a father soon, to be a son and to uh, just who I am and who I'm perceived as. I just and hold it on, all on knowing that I'm taken care of. So. Thank you for your time. Good luck in the finals. Oh, the finals, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Two weeks from now, and I'll, I get to see who I get to face off at, and I'll be in the works already for my fight camp, and I'll start game planning and take this next one. Uh -oh.